Hey everybody, I'm Delicia. Thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the beautiful Ivy Cigar. This is made by Viva Republica and it's actually handmade in the La Aurora factory. Viva Republica is a kind of a co-project that involves Guillermo Leon of La Aurora Cigars as well as Jason Hawley. So this is again the newer line that was created by Jason Hawley and it's apparently it's paying tribute to his Ivy League days which I was not aware of. He used to smoke cigars in Harvard Yard. I'm super jealous. What an accomplishment. That's very cool and apparently that was kind of like the motivation behind this particular cigar and the blend. He saw a picture of JFK that was you know of him smoking also there and um, just kind of motivated him to create that that nostalgia behind the whole essence of cigars and again being on that little bit higher level at an Ivy League school very very neat so love the idea it's very different than the existing Viva Republica lines like the Advanced Warfare the Guerrilla Warfare it those are a little bit bolder this one is kind of um, from what I've smoked so far it's a slightly um, less bold version and so again different flavors different idea different concept different packaging all of it is very different so very neat love 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 the band it's really elegant uh, love the color it has like a very light kind of a almost an aqua turquoise but very very light and then like a coral on the side and then it just has the the nice lettering and just just beautiful very eye-catching so really like that taking a closer look at the cigar itself it's featuring an ecuadorian habano corojo wrapper cameroon and dominican binder and of course on the inside you have cameroon dominican and nicaragua filler this is available in three different sizes today i'm going to be smoking the lamont which is a five and a quarter by 43 i believe and this is about uh 11 12 dollar stick depending on where you buy it of course and let's go ahead and just get right into it so on the foot and when you just um, smell it, it has a nice leathery aroma to it. Very nice. And even aesthetically, it kind of has that same color of like a vintage leather jacket. I love the, the feel to that. Very nice. And hopefully my lighter makes it through. Looks like I'm getting low on butane. Oh, which is why I always keep matches close by. <laughs> I love this size. This is like right up my alley. This smaller type of um, petite Corona type of format. Mm, wow, that lights up beautifully. Mm. And it's already giving out, again, that very inviting, very welcoming aroma. Beautiful, beautiful on the flavors a um, little bit of that leathery essence in there get a nice nuttiness kind of coming through light pepper in the background you kind of have to look for it it doesn't come right out and hit you right away quite a smoke bomb but very aromatic i love that there's a little bit of a creaminess to it and nope now you're starting to pick up a little bit of a almost a citrus and a spice at the same time both very light but you kind of get a little bit of that in the background
there's a little bit of a of a nutmeg that's also kind of in the mix but really you get that beautiful pronounced um, woodsy leather feel those are like the two main components and again the other stuff that i mentioned is kind of in the background but very very nice start absolutely gorgeous beautiful amount of smoke uh very aromatic love this the aroma that it's putting out and as always i'm going to go ahead and smoke it down a little bit more and i will be checking back in with you for the second third So coming back in for the second third on the IV, great flavors right now and construction, nice solid ash, um, very clean burn line. Haven't had to touch it up at all, which is always good. The flavors are a nice combination of a little bit of that cedar. So you get that nice woodsiness in there. You also pick up like a, it kind of reminds me of a, of a cocoa buttery something like it has that creaminess, so it's going, it's starting to get a little bit away from that leathery um, texture and feel that it had in the beginning over to more of a creamy, almost buttery like uh, smoke and just overall kind of presence. You get a little bit of a light pepper mixed in as well as anise. There's also an underlying nuttiness that's there. It's not like the forefront, but it's in there, kind of mixed into the to the overall um, you know flavor combination that you do get. There's still a hint, a very very light hint of a citrus something that's just again kind of just mixed in there, not anything that's in the front you know overpowering by any means. It's just kind of all mixed in very nicely. It's very well balanced. In fact. It's, a, it's almost um, what you would describe as like a refined type of a, an experience, a refined type of a palette um, cigar overall. Really, really nice, very easy to smoke. Um, again, kind of at that medium, medium level is right where I would categorize this one. And you also get a little bit of like a nutmeg type of a, of a flavoring in here. So really nice on the combination of flavors again, enjoying those different transitions. And again, just a very easy smoke. So that's always a plus. Nothing is just overpowering any of those flavors that I mentioned. They're all really meshed very well together. So I'm going to continue smoking it down a little bit more and check back in with you one last time for the final third. So coming back for the final third on the IV by Viva Republica. Um, I have a beautiful ash going on this one. So while I do have a little bit more that I'll keep smoking because even at this size, it's still not getting overheated, which is great. So the construction is spot on. The flavors are really good. In fact, I picked up a very interesting note on this final third. There was a hint of what reminded me of black licorice. Really interesting. Haven't had that experience with um, any other cigar that comes to mind at all. So I'm not sure what little leaf was contributing to that particular flavor, but it was very interesting. It wasn't, again, super overpowering or anything. You just get a little hint of just that. Just black licorice was like the only thing that came to mind. It was really cool. There's also a nice combination of a, of a cocoa that's still there. The smoke itself started out with more of a leather presence to it. Towards the second third and the final third, it's a little bit more creamy, which is very nice. There's still that nice nuttiness to it as well, and there's a little underlying woodsiness to it. So you have a, an interesting combination of flavors on this guy, but a really nice smoke. Again, it's very different than the other cigars in the Viva Republica line. Um, it just kind of stands alone. It's it's a little more toned down. You just get these different nuances. It's very enjoyable, and especially in this size, I, I'd have to say, out of the three sizes that it comes in, this one is probably my favorite, just because you get a little bit more of that concentration of flavors, but it's also just a good size to smoke. It's just, again, personal preference. It depends on what, you, what your go-tos are, but for me, this is closer to the size that I enjoy smoking. 
and just a really nice combination of flavors. About a medium, almost midpoint of a medium, not quite full on the both the body and the strength. The strength is very easy to tolerate. It's not mild, but it's definitely not overpowering. So this would be a good cigar whether you're newer to smoking or if you're just not looking for something that's incredibly strong, this would be a nice way, kind of a middle middle ground to find yourself on. So really, really nice. And again, all of these cigars are distributed by Miami Cigar and Company. So you can find these, you could look on their website and you can find out where there's um, a store that carries them near you, hopefully. And if anything, um, love to hear your feedback. As always, I appreciate you guys stopping in and I'll see you next time. Cheers.